the song that's on heavy rotation for me. And here to talk about her upcoming tour and her exciting new music is the purple goddess herself, artist Olivia O'Brien. Yes. I love that. I know. When you're rocking the purple, it looks Thank amazing. It looks amazing. Only you can pull that I know, right? And I know. make purple I feel like, hair look good. I feel like there's a lot of people that have purple hair. Every time I go, even like I was at the grocery store the other day mm -hmm. and I saw two other girls with like the same color purple hair as me. You gotta try it. Yeah. You gotta try it, Cassie. And she's like, hey, okay, if you help me, if you oversee this, I feel like I'll, <laughs> I'll be give you all the product. Right. I'll tell you all the tips. <laughs> Olivia, I'm not joking. Like this morning, I was a little in my feelings, and I put on mm -hmm. Love Myself, and it was exactly what I needed. Wasn't it like? It's this, the energy that we need for 2019. It, I mean, talk about that song and the inspiration behind it. Uh, I wrote that song uh, when I went to Stockholm on a writing trip, and it was my last day of the trip. It was like, or my last day with these producers. It was day four, I think. And we had made three other amazing songs, and I was just like, okay, I'm so jet lagged and I'm so tired. I just wanna, like, I'm just gonna say how I'm feeling and try to, like, mm -hmm. be the most, like, not easy, but whatever the most, like, it just naturally came to me. Mm -hmm. And I just sat down and I was like, it just came out. I wrote it in like 20 minutes. It was just like how I felt inside without mm -hmm. any, like, censoring wow um and yeah i just after that i took a nap <laughs> <laughs> I, it had to have been exhausting. i was like i'm yeah. so jet lagged and yeah. like i just did the song and now i'm gonna go to sleep well, <laughs> i'm gonna go home that you released the song you kind of had penned an open letter that talks about like the difficulties of finding that self-love and i feel like it's something that we all struggle with mm -hmm. um you know still as we grow up how did you find self-love do you remember like w when it was or a certain moment are you still trying to find it i'm definitely still trying to find it. I think the song isn't necessarily about like, oh, I love myself. Like it's called love myself, but it's like, I need to love right. myself. It's mm. like, uh, I mean, it's so hard to, to love yourself, especially, you know, as a young girl and in, in LA in the entertainment industry, there's just like someone like you who has a lot of social media mm. followers right, and all Chasey of those likes voices. And that immediate kind of like, yeah. And there's a, so many other people to com be compared to yep. every day. I get comments. You look exactly like this person. You look exactly mm. like this person. And like all these things comparing me to people, you sound like her. So it's, it's really hard to, you know, I think just recognizing that you're a unique human being and no one can ever be like you in any way. Like you are the only person that's ever gonna be you, no matter what that is. And I think that's special. That makes us all really special. Do you try to yeah. actively block those voices out? Like by literally maybe even blocking them or? Oh, definitely. Okay. But I, I am the type of person that I will look at stuff and like mm. I'll look at the bad stuff, you know, like I'll see all the good ones and I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Cause like, it's nice, but it doesn't feel real. But then somehow the mean ones feel you real. Focus, it's you crazy. have a hundred so compliments, but then you focus on the mm. one negative comment. That's why be kind people. I mean, that's the takeaway from the song, yeah. you know, and be kind to yourself, I mm -hmm. think, cause it is a process. It's yeah. not something you just wake up and feel like didn't today, you know? Yeah. But um, also I feel like uh, being able to take a, a step back and look at the things you have accomplished so far mm -hmm. helps that. And I mean, you were posting your own music on SoundCloud and now, now look at you, you know? What has been the biggest lesson you've learned in your own journey, especially as a young female in the music industry? Oh, I don't know. The most important lesson I've learned? Mm -hmm. hmm. There's so many. I feel like every day I'm like growing so much. Yeah. I think there's lessons that I've learned from other people. There's lessons that I've just learned from making my own mistakes. I think one of the most important ones is definitely be careful who you trust mm -hmm. and because I used to, I went I came to LA and I was like oh like everyone's gonna be nice like it's all fun everyone wants to help me yeah like yeah. there's there was definitely like bullies in high school but I always kind of justify like why people are mean like I was like oh that kid is insecure like they're jealous whatever but when you come to LA like they're I mean it's anywhere there's just there's people in the real world that aren't nice people right. Right. and that's just like the way that it's gonna be they're out to get you and like. Mm. I mean, not necessarily personally, but they're just, you know. Just be careful who you trust, yeah. for sure. Yeah. How have you been able to keep your own sound? Because I feel like that's something very hard for an artist, especially because you're mm. you're still very young. You're 19 years old. You're a female in the industry. Mm. And I feel like there's a lot of outside voices, too. Um, how have you been able to kind of keep it your own ever since Hate You, Love You? Um, I don't know. Like, keep my own... My own it's just your, it's your own sound, it's your own voice. Obviously, you wrote Love Myself, so mm -hmm. I feel like that's, it's, it's from you and your heart. Yeah. But your sound, too, is just so unique. I think everything that I do is just, like, what I want to do. It's, like, right. what I like. And it took me a while after I Hate You, I Love You to, like, 
find what I wanted to be sonically and style-wise. I feel like I'm always changing. I've had like a million different hair colors. <laughs> this is actually the longest time I've like ever had one hair color. Was I, I've had purple hair since June, mm. um, but this is like the fourth time I've had it. Like in the past, I've had it for like a week. Or so. It's like I'm constantly changing the way I look and my style, the things I wear, even my sound. Like I'm even from my project that's coming out soon. Like I'm already making stuff that sounds different from that. Yeah. So, but you do um, it because you want to yeah. do it, not because other people are telling mm. you, which I admire. I think you. as long as I'm just staying true to myself and what I want to do that I can't go wrong like it's all about authenticity and just and that's why you can pull off the purple too, yeah. because it's just because you know what I mean you're staying true to yourself you're like no this is who I am right now yeah. I think you it's been on record a, a, a lot about the purple but can you remind people like what's the story behind it well it's been my favorite color since I was a little kid yeah. um, like forever but it has so many great meanings and I kind of reconnected with the color because I, this guy that I liked, it was actually his favorite color too. Mm. And then we had like a falling out and like whatever, he didn't like me, I wrote a whole mm, album about right. it. Yeah. And um, I started seeing, when I, whenever I saw the color, it reminded me of him and I was like, I don't want my favorite color to remind me of this guy that was mean to me and like didn't treat me right. So I'm gonna dye my hair purple and I'm gonna wear purple all the time and purple's gonna be my color again yes. and I'm gonna reclaim it. When people see purple, they're gonna think of me and then I'm yes, gonna think of me. Not him. Yeah, you took her back. <laughs> Can I ask you, does Toddy have a favorite color? Like purple. Is it purple? <laughs> yeah. That worked out great a for you. Yeah. Happen. I love yeah. that. Uh, really, and I was like, are you just saying that because of me? And he's like, no. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. To me. <laughs> okay, really quickly, uh, what is next for you? You have a new single mm -hmm. coming That's Friday, me. right? Uh, yeah, a new song on Friday. It's um, another one from the album. Got it. And when will the album come out? This spring? Um, oh, yeah, it comes out this spring. Okay. And on really top soon. of all that, you're balancing a tour. A tour. Yeah, I start on Sunday. Insane. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. You busy, girl. You busy. Yeah. All right, well, Keep congratulations. Keep rocking that purple yeah. hair. I love it. Yeah, can't wait for the single <laughs> on Friday. Congrats.